Hi, and welcome to Simply Fun's online school of playology. Today, we'll learn how to play Simply Fun's Eat and Tweet, a game of planning and strategy where you help your birdies fly home to their nests as they collect tasty tidbits of food to help them on their way. Eat and Tweet is for two to six players, ages eight and up. In each Eat and Tweet game box, you get 20 landscape tiles and one starter tile. There is six plastic colored birds, 51 wooden food energy chips, and a couple of food energy reference cards. Eat and Tweet is a great game for teaching your kids tactical planning skills, as well as food and energy management, all from a bird's point of view. To set up the game, mix up the 20 landscape tiles and place them in a draw pile nest side up. Place the food energy chips in groups by color beside the play area. These chips are the main food energy supply. Then, place the start tile at one end of the play area. Take the top three landscape tiles from the pile, turn them over, and connect them to the start tile so that all nine spaces connect. You'll place each subsequent tile in line with the top edge of the previous tile, like this, unless the previous tile shows a red arrow icon on one side. If that happens, the next landscape tile must be shifted either one space to the left or one space to the right. Now, place the food energy chips on the landscape tiles as indicated by the icons. Included are some brown acorn chips. These don't show up on the landscape tiles, but are included so you can make change with the energy food bank. Finally, place all the player's birds in the starting space of the start tile. To begin play, decide whether players play individually or in teams of two. If in teams, players should choose birds of similar colors. For example, a dark blue and a light blue go together. Before the first player goes, all players receive their starting food energy chips, which are distributed based on the player's starting position. On each turn, a player must fly to a space with a food energy chip or a nest. Players can fly through all spaces except those with water, a food energy chip, another player's bird, or a nest on it. To proceed, players need to fly around those spaces, I must stop when landing on a space containing a food energy chip. Watch out that you don't get blocked. If you get blocked, your turn is over. In Eat and Tweet, the number of spaces moved equals the amount of energy used. After landing on a space, each player must remove the right amount of energy from his own supply and add it to the main supply. After paying for the trip, the player may take the chip from the space he landed on and add it to his own supply. Players must always turn in the energy for the trip first and then take the new food energy chip. After each exchange, a player's turn is over and the next player goes. All birds must be able to see at least three landscape tiles ahead. If there are two or fewer tiles in front of each bird, tiles must be added until there are three in front of all birds. Food energy chips are placed on the new tiles as they were at the beginning of the game from the main supply. All birds are also only able to see three tiles behind. Landscape tiles that are more than three spaces behind all the birds are removed from the game and any unclaimed energy chips go back into the main supply. When there is only one landscape tile left in the pile, it is connected to the previous tile as before, but without turning it over so that the five nest spaces are visible. This becomes the nest tile. Once the nest tile is connected, a player can fly to the nest space, which is the ending space, after which the player may no longer take turns. The game ends when all players have landed safely on their nests. Then it's time to calculate the value of the food energy chips each player still has in his pile. The player with the most points wins. In case of a tie, the player who got to the nest first is the winner. If playing in teams, the team with the highest total wins. Keeping enough energy to fly can be difficult. Plan your moves carefully to eat and tweet your way to your nest with as much spare food energy as you can. 